And in this scenario that I just showed in RSI, this is the price that belongs to that. So it would it would rise with volatility towards the halving around the stock to flow value of 60. And then the bull market really goes up goes on the second stage of the bull market with FOMO greed and then well in this scenario it's it's a rather conservative bull market that bottoms out or flattens out just below the stock to flow value of 500,000 so this average is at 300,000 which is still uh, pretty okay I would guess that's 10x from here. Plan B the renowned on-chain analyst famed for his stock to flow Bitcoin pricing model firmly believes that even in a conservative bull market Bitcoin is destined to reach a staggering $300,000 per coin. Plan B has ascended to become one of the most celebrated on-chain Bitcoin analysts, earning recognition for his remarkably accurate predictions and his pivotal role in models like stock -to flow With decades of experience as an institutional investor, he possesses an intricate understanding of financial markets and modeling. In a recent market update, Plan B conducted an in-depth analysis of Bitcoin's relative strength index. RSI is a metric ranging from 1 to 100, gauging an asset's average gains, losses, and price fluctuations. An RSI near 100 suggests overvaluation and recent heavy buying, possibly indicating an impending pullback. Conversely, an RSI near zero implies undervaluation and overselling, suggesting a forthcoming rebound or price increase. For typical financial instruments like stocks, the RSI usually falls between 30 and 70. However, due to Bitcoin's volatility and historical uptrend, its RSI typically ranges from 40 to 90. In his latest video update, Plan B dissects his analysis of Bitcoin's RSI, presenting compelling evidence that we are in the early stages of a bull market. Stay tuned until the video's conclusion, where Plan B extrapolates Bitcoin's RSI projections for 2024 and 2025, articulating why, even in a conservative bull market, Bitcoin is poised to hover around the $300,000 mark. Today we talk about RSI, the Relative Strength Index, a very well-known technical analysis indicator and oh my god does it give a clear signal for Bitcoin. So the first chart shows the RSI over the last 15 years. And why do we look at RSI? Because RSI is a measure of momentum and momentum is a force, like a train, a train at high speed that cannot be stopped. And we like to know when the momentum is about to switch and RSI can tell us that. So what is RSI? RSI is an index. It's between zero and hundred and everything below 50 is a downtrend. Everything above 50 is an uptrend. And the normal range of the RSI is between 30 and 70 for normal financial instruments like stocks or uh, foreign exchange. Now how is RSI uh, calculated? How can we do it ourselves? It's not that easy. It's a two-step process but it basically does it. It separates average gain and the average loss over a certain period. That period is 14 months. That's the standard period. Can be different. But it separates the gains and the losses and from those two numbers, the average gain to average losses over that period, it calculates the index between 0 and 100. Now in this chart we see the RSI on the y-axis, the date on the x-axis, and the months until the next halving on the color axis. We use monthly data, as you, as you can see, 12 points every year, and it uses the 14-month period. The 14-month period is well, a standard period for a yearly or monthly data that we use, maybe a 12-month period would be a, a better fitting. But if, if you look at quarters or uh, weeks, a 13-month, 13 13-week period would be better. And if you look at days, maybe a 14-day period is, is like a two-week period. So this 14 standard period is usable for weeks, days, and months. Well, I use it because it's the mostly uh, used period. Now note that for Bitcoin, the RSI is not in the 30 to 70 range it's in the well 40 to 90 range and that means it's up all the time it's most of the time it's above this 50 boundary which means it's in an uptrend and we know that if we look at the bitcoin price chart of course it's one big uptrend from uh, 2009 till now we also see in this chart is the four bull markets and the four bear markets we see the bull market of and the bear market of 2011 that was early days so it had a bull market and a bear market in one year don't think we'll ever see that again then 2013 bull market it was a double top 
bull market and the 2014-15 bear market, then the 2016 and 17 bull market and 2018 bear market, and then most recently we had the 2020-21 bull market and then a 2022 bear market. That's how it is. And right now we're stuck at a bit above 50. Market has not decided yet where to go. I will get back to that in a bit. Now notice also that the low RSIs correlate with green, which is just before the halving. And also the bull markets, the high RZ values, they correlate with red and orange, which is just after the halvings. And we can also see that tops in the RSI are getting lower and the bottoms are getting lower as well. So what is that? I don't know for sure. It could be that the RSI is finally normalizing to this 30 to 70 range. That is a very slow process though. It, it would take like, you know, what is it? Five points every cycle and uh, we're at 90 now. We have to go to 70. So let's say a two to four cycle period uh, at, at least uh, another 10 years i would say or is it because this bull market in 2021 was a bit lower than normal and is maybe an outlier and i think that might be the case especially if we look at for example here the start of the halving cycle was bad because it, it was covid time at that time march 2020 and it had a bad start and then at the top at the all-time high we had this chinese mining ban which cut the RSI from 90 to almost 60, which is huge. And it certainly killed the all-time high and probably the bull market. So I think we were just, that was just bad luck. And we might have a normal bull market again in the future. What's also interesting is that you can see in this RSI chart why I thought that we would look at 100k Bitcoin in 2021, despite COVID in 2020 and despite the mining ban. So why did I think we would still have 100k Bitcoin back then? Because the uptrend was already forming again and it looked very much like the double top of 2013 and I thought we might have that again. Well obviously we did not. I guess by December 21 we could have known that the bull market was done. Well we closed the year December at, at 46k that level. We could have known it was done with hindsight of course. So what now? RSI seems stuck at 50 or a little above 50 for months now. Where do we go? And in fact, that's an easy thing. It's uh, the question is, will do we expect the cycles, the bull bear, bull bear cycles in Bitcoin continue? Or is this time different? And let me tell you one thing that I learned from my 20 plus years experience as an institutional investor. This time is never different. History rhymes and cycles will always be. It's like the tide, greed and fear and the market psychology greed in the bull markets and fear in the bear markets that's human psychology and that will not change humans will not change so in my opinion we will have another cycle and another cycle and another cycle so the rsi tells us the bull market of 21 is done the bear market of 22 is done and we're now just before the halving blue and halvings are historically at 55 or even higher here 65 and 70 and then well i guess we'll, after that we'll, we'll go to the halving at 55 and then we'll see a red a red bull market again that's what i think so how would such a scenario look i guess a bit like this could be realistic it's a random scenario created with a random number generation generator but with realistic uh, parameter so this is the last realist uh, the last real bitcoin price where we are right now the rsr 51 and this is the scenario this is the, the random scenario so it looks pretty normal it looks like all the other bear uh, bull markets and bear markets and it would mean that the rsi is going to rise from here towards the halving volatility of course it will not be a straight line then a bull market in uh, 2024 uh, with an RSI around 90, a little above, a little below, it doesn't matter. And then a bear market after that in 25, 26, and of course a bottom in green. That That's sort of what it looks like. And in Bitcoin price, it would look like this. So we are here at the moment at this 30 level, stuck for months there. And in this scenario that I just showed in RSI, this is the price that belongs to that. So it would it would rise with volatility towards the halving around the stock to flow value of 60 and then the bull market really goes 
goes on, the second stage of the bull market with FOMO, greed, and then, well, in this scenario, it's, it's a rather conservative bull market that bottoms out or flattens out just below the stock to flow value of 500,000. So this average is at 300,000, which is still <laughs> pretty okay, I would guess. That's 10x from here. So yeah, that's the RSI, and in my opinion, it's a very interesting and useful indicator for tracking where we are in the cycle, bull, bear, etc., and also for generating this kind of scenarios. But remember, it's just one scenario. Reality will be different. Of course, this is not financial advice. Plan B takes us on an in-depth journey into Bitcoin's RSI and offers insights into his predictions stretching all the way to 2025. It's truly captivating to delve into the intricate workings of the Relative Strength Index especially when applied to the dynamic and unpredictable world of Bitcoin. However, it's crucial to bear in mind that while Plan B's historical analyses have proven accurate, every investor should approach the market with a prudent level of skepticism. Past accuracy should never be misconstrued as a guarantee of future success. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.